Welcome to the homework for lesson 17. This is module 6 of first grade. Write your name here first. And we're doing the same thing we did in lesson 16 for homework. We're using uh, quick tens and ones and we're lining them up and then rewriting our number sentence or our equation. We're rewriting it vertically. So 49 four tens, one, two, three, four, nine ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Please use five group rows. It makes a lot of things easier and it keeps you from making mistakes. One, two, three, thirty, right? One, two, three. And this nine needs one more to be a ten. So we have two ones and count our tens. That's one because that bunch I just circled that to 10 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 82 and I'm re going to rewrite this vertically so there's the 49 and when it says here to line up your tens and ones uh, you see how we did that here we put the tens over here and the ones over here and then we wrote down how many tens there were, just like it was in a place value box or place value chart where the, the tens number was right underneath the picture for the tens and the ones, the how many ones there are is right underneath the picture for the ones. We're going to do the same thing vertically where we write the 49 and the 33. Think of it like it's in one big place value chart where the tens go here and the ones go there want to see them lined up like that so the tens look like they're both and we can tell they're tens because they're they're on top of each other and we can tell the ones are ones because they're on top of each other some of the mistakes that can be made when you do this if you start getting sloppy about it and you write 49 and you write 33 like that then it looks like you're adding a 10 this should be three tens and it looks like you're adding it to nine ones and and sometimes you do make that mistake and you add the wrong numbers. So just be careful that that's what they mean by lining up and make sure that you're careful about it. And one more thing about lining up I'll get to in a moment here. 9 and 3 is 12, right? And that was that 10 right there that we circled, right? This 10 that I, to use a whole other color, that 10 right there, when I circled it, that made a 10. So that 10 goes here. Now, some people will put that 10 up here. And, oops. Some people will put that 10 up here. If your teacher says it's okay to do that, I'm okay with it. It can go up there. That's how a lot of us, uh, the old-fashioned way, that's how we're used to putting it there. And that's fine. Just when you do that, if that's what you're going to do. Make sure you don't put it here, because now it looks like now it looks like it's in the hundreds place, because that's hundreds, tens, and ones. Because now it's, you know what I mean. So I hope you know it. I hope you know what I mean. So we want. I'm going to put this right here. And there's two. There's the two ones, and here's my eight tens. Four plus three plus one. Now I'm not going to be so. Oops so careful about it for the rest of these i'm going to kind of i'm going to do this a lot faster for the rest one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight one two three one two i know this eight and this two that's going to make a ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Ooh, that's ten tens that is 10 tens and zero ones. That's the number 100. 68, 32. And where we had zero ones and that 10 I made, I'm going to put right there. So six plus three is nine tens and one more is 10 tens, 100. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. 
So now this is a case where we're not making any tens. So it doesn't always have to happen that way. Um, there's just nine ones here to count. And there's seven tens. Now you don't have to, when I cross these off and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you don't have to do that. I just do it so that you can see what I'm counting and I can show you how I'm counting and how the, how the, so, so you can see what I'm doing. But you don't have to cross it off yourself unless it helps you keep track of what you've counted and what you haven't. And it, there's nothing wrong with doing it. You don't have to do it. 36, 43, and sometimes it really is just as easy as looking at 6 plus, 6 plus 3, that's 9, and 3 plus, 3 plus 4, that's 7, 79. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's two fives. Making a 10. I can see I have these two and those two. That's four ones. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tens for 90, four, 20, seven, 60, seven. All right, there's my four ones. There's the 10 that I made when I bundled up those ones. And now, Two, six, and one adds up to nine, ninety-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's those two fives. I'm just going to loop them around like that. So that's ten, and I have five ones. Those three and those two right there. That's five ones. And I count my tens, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety-five, seventy-eight, seventeen. Here's that five ones. There's the ten that I bundled from the ones that I bundled up to make a ten. And it's seven plus one is eight, and one more is nine. Ninety-five. One, two, three, four, five, six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. And 28 is two tens. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Now this nine ones needs one more to be a 10. That leaves seven ones. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. 69, 28, adding them together. 9 and 8 is 17, but just we've already added it with the picture, so we know there's going to be 7 ones and a 10. 6 and 2 is 8, 1 more is 9. 97. 97. And just more, more of the same on the second page. 29, two tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 52 is one, two, three, four, five tens, and two ones. And looking at this, nine needs one more to be a 10. So there's a one here, and then we have, well, what do we have? We've got five, six, seven, eight, Eight tens. Oh, that's a pretty sloppy number eight. Let me redraw that. There. 81. So I'm writing vertically 29, 52. Right, we look at our ones place numbers. There's a nine and a two. That adds up to 11, right? And just like we looked in our picture, there was a one left. There was a one and a 10. And now we count our tens. Two and five is seven. One more is eight. 81, 58, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 31, 1, 2, 3, tens, and 1, 1. And now this is 8 ones, and 1 more 1 is 9 ones. You can just count them. And then we just count all the tens. It's 5 and 3 more. That's 8. 
89. And if we write this vertically, 58, 31, add our ones place numbers, that's the 8 and the 1, that makes 9. See how I wrote that right underneath where the ones digits are? So you're, that's where my ones all go. And then here's where my tens all go. Make sure that your solution, your answer, your sum goes, lines up also with the, with the add ends and five plus three is eight. 73, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 26, 2, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1s. Looking at this, I can see I'm going to have 9. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 1s, and then I look at all my 10s, and there's 9 of those. 99. 73, 26. Look at our ones digits. That's a three and a six. Those add up to nine and seven and two for our tens. That also adds up to nine tens, 99. 67 plus 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. 28 is two tens and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And making a 10 here. Put those two five groups together to make a ten and we have these three and those two left over so that's five ones all together and count our tens we have the six and we have this six and this two we know that's eight and then one more here is nine ninety five sixty seven twenty eight We know we're going to have 15 because we just did it when, in a picture. We know we're going to have a 10. Our 10 goes over here with the other 10s, and we're going to have five ones. And then when we add the 10s together, there's the 6 plus 2 for 8. And one more makes 9, 95. 41 plus 59, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1. 1 and 59 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ones. 9 and 1 makes 10. Zero ones left after we make that 10. And we're looking at this 4 plus that 5 for 9, and 1 more makes 10. 10, 10, zero ones. That's the number 100. 41, 59, addition, and we have 1 plus 9, that makes a 10 with 0 1s, and we have 4, four plus 5, that's 9, and 1 more is 10, 10, 10s, ten, that's 100 right there. 48 plus 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 45 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 10s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got two 5 groups here. That makes a 10. We've got these three 1s here. And we just count our 10s. We've got 4 and 4. That's 8. And one more makes 9, 93. So we've got 48, 45, the 8 and the 5 is 13, right? That's a 10 and a 3. We just drew the picture of it, so 10 and a 3. So there's the 10, and there's the 3. The 10 goes where the other 10s go in the 10s place. And we count that with the other 10s. There's the 4 plus the 4, and which is 8, and one more is 9, 93. And before I uh, finish, I'm going to go back and check to make sure I wrote in answers for all of my work. And oh, there's one I left out right here. So obviously I did 89 for that one. And let me just check to see if there are any others I might have missed. Uh, nope.
I answered them all. And don't forget your name. Make sure you got your name on here.